Glenfield Grange. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how I make my pictures for the doll's house and for other projects I might be working on. Um, first of all you'll need some air dry clay. I've used all the packet up so I can't really show you but I used DAS air dry clay and I would roller it out so it's thin and then do a little crimping around the edge for the frame. You need to let these dry I would say for a good two days in, in a warm place but not over not directly over a radiator or they can distort a bit. That's two I haven't painted yet. Um, this is a finished picture. And the next step, once you've, it's dried and you've got the colour that you want for the frame, I use a raw amber, burnt sienna, or burnt umber and then I highlight it with gold and or you can do it the opposite way round but I'll show you um, the highlighting part of doing the frame so you've painted your picture onto a little piece of wood or card it doesn't matter if you can't paint because you can use other things I'll show you that at the end you can use pictures out of magazines or books and just cut them out or little old photographs. 
Um, where's my paintbrush? Here it is. So, here's our picture. I'm going to get some of this antique gold paint. Then I'm going to dab it off so there's not too much on there. And all you have to do is to lay your brush at an angle so it catches the patterns that you've made in the air dry clay. You can see that. And it catches. On the frame, a little bit more. Um, I'll take the picture out for now. As you can see, I hope you can see this. And as it catches, it makes a lovely effect. I mean, this is very handy for doing anything really food, you could make food, or um, furniture, ornaments, vases, not just pictures, air dry clay is a very good thing to use. You can use the other type that you bake in the oven, but I've never really wanted to do that, I've never really wanted to sort of put anything that's not food in the oven. Now to fix the picture inside the frame, I use a little bit of tacky wax. You just scrape a little piece out, put it on the back of the picture. And then if you ever want to change your picture, you can take this out and it's not permanent, but it will hold it. Just press that in. We let that dry. And that's quite a lovely little picture. And also what you need to do is, on the back of these pictures, when you use air dry clay, just get some brown paper from an, a brown paper, craft paper, or a brown envelope, and make the shape of the back and stick it on. Now that will make that easier when you want to stick it onto the wall. Um, it's very hard for um, museum putty or quake hold to stick to the air dry clay as it is but if you put a piece of brown paper it holds it very well. So that's one. This is another one. Um, this is a little landscape to go in there and it's such a, a quick and easy way to make some photographs, pictures, prints, whatever you want to do. And they don't have to be perfect, because they're only small, but they give the impression of an old master, or if you're doing a modern doll's house, you can use do a modern pictures. Nurseries, you can do little animals.
I'll just show you this quickly. You can go over it as much as you many times as you want. Changing the colours. Or if you want to do it the, the other way, the way I did this frame, I painted the gold first all over and then I dry brushed the brown, the dark brown to give it a gilded look. Now that will go in there that picture will go in there. Let's just get my tacky wax again. You only need a little a little piece. So a, a small packet of air dry clay will make quite a few pictures for your doll's house or ornaments. Um, I will show you in other videos ornaments that can be made, vases, food. Let's just stick this bit of brown paper on the back. This is tacky glue. Now, when I rolled this the uh, air dry clay out, I did I did a circle for this one because I wanted to do a floral a floral picture. I've already put the brown paper on there. Get another little bit of tacky wax. I've put my signature and the date on there. But if you ever want to change your pictures, they'll quite easily come out with a little sharp instrument like that. You can prise them out, put something else in there. So, And before I put that in, I also varnished it, because this is painted with acrylic, acrylic paint I varnished it with acrylic paint matte varnish but you could also do a decoupage picture or cut anything out of a magazine and you could put Mod Podge that's another very good that's the gloss one but you can get it in gloss or matte you can Mod Podge it so that's those two there. Now the next, there's two here. And I'll take a little time to paint them. My paint's going a bit dry, so just, when your paint starts to go a bit dry, just add a bit, a little spritz of water. And that'll keep them going. So while I'm painting these, which 
job is as quick as I can. You can take more time when you're painting your frames. It's surprising what you can make and it's surprising how much money you can save. I still like to buy miniatures but I like the thought that I've made something myself to go in the doll's house. I've made something special My fingers are going to get a little bit mucky here and it's a lovely a lovely hobby especially when everyone shares all their tips and ideas Another thing you can use the air dry clay for is garden furniture which I will be making at some point. Um, things like flower troughs and um, fountains, old sinks that you can make, pillars that you can make look old with green moss growing on them. I mean, that would be a great thing to do. I'm getting excited about doing that for the garden, making things for the garden. You see me paint that one, so I think I'll leave this one because you know, oh no, I will, I will paint it because I don't like to leave things. I like to show. Show it all. I'm just adding a little bit of. It's surprising how the colours, the browns, all, are all different. I've got three browns there. I've got burnt sienna, raw umber, and burnt umber. And they're all slightly different. On the packet, burnt umber looks the darkest, but it's the raw umber that's the darkest, which is very surprising. Because I could have done this one, a gold, an opposite one, an opposite way round one. Um, no, I'll do some more and I'll change this, I'll change this. You can give them a second coat. I'm just doing this quickly for the video. And 
I won't worry too much about the back on this one. So I'll do that later. But they've all got their brown paper stuck to the back. See that one is slightly darker. That'll do for the first coat. Now that one's touch dry already. Acrylic's very good, it does dry very quickly. And and so does the air dry clay. When you're using air dry clay, be sure to have a little spritzer, spritzer bottle of water with you. Um, because it quite quickly, when you're making the um, the little frames or ornaments or whatever you want to make, it can quite quickly become sticky and hard to work with. But if you spritz it, I'm just going over the gold now with the gold. If you spritz it, it keeps it malle malleable. I think that's the right word, malleable. Easy to use. That's better. <laughs> um, malleable sounds like you're going to eat something. Um, see it just it just brings out the frame makes it look a little bit posher or oh, on blend you have plenty of baby wipes to keep your fingers clean now when I stick this picture in Give you some idea which way does it go? It'll be like that. And that's a little jug of flowers I painted. Acrylics. I've always painted, that's why I found it easy to paint the pictures. Well, it's hard because they're smaller, but being an artist, it's you just size everything down, but that doesn't matter because you can still do this if you can't paint. And if you can't paint, if you're not an artist, it doesn't matter because you can cut pictures out of magazines, uh, homes and gardens antique homes and garden, country homes, they've all got lovely rooms with masterpieces and modern pictures in. Here's a nice modern picture that you could use for a, you know, a, a modern house. That's a floral picture. And they'd all look lovely in a frame. That's a very modern picture. There's some little, little roses. Botanical prints. I hope the camera's picking this up. But I like the classical ones. I like the classical pictures and the old masters. And you can stick these onto the frame when it's finished and give it a little coat of Mod Podge to matte it 
so it's not such a shiny printed look. That's another one. And this would make a rather large picture in a grand hallway, but also cut out from a magazine, this would make a, a panelling on the wallpaper, perhaps in a bathroom or a front room or an entrance, the hallway, a large entrance if you've got a doll's house with a large entrance hallway. And I think they're all lovely. So collect a few of those from magazines. Now another thing you can use air dry clay. I was talking about garden furniture. And I've made these for something else. I also collect crystals. And I make these to hold my crystals in. Crystal spheres and other things which I love, sparkly crystals. And you can see how it would lend itself to making tables, stone seats, pillars, old urns, flower pots. So we should be trying to make some of those at some point. I'll just show you some others. With this one, you could perhaps make some artificial flowers and have palms or cacti in the little holes, little pots. I'd like to thank you for watching my video today and I do hope you'll leave a comment, like and hopefully subscribe <laughs> and it's goodbye this time from Glenfield Grange and I hope you have a wonderful Easter and as the weather's turning now into spring properly have a wonderful spring. But it's goodbye from Glenfield Grange. Blessings, Sharon. <laughs>